Hi there, Leo, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your monthly astrology forecast for March 2024. And don't forget, of course, to come back on a weekly basis for weekly astrology updates as well. This month is going to be very fresh, clear, clean, and straightforward for everybody. Um, it's going to be just, it's one of the smoothest months of the first half of the year. I think we're all going to be really grateful for that as well. Um, minimal complications, if any at all, and just nice and smooth, orderly and organized. And for you, this month is all about surprise wins, joint victories as it relates to any kind of partnerships or collaborations you've got going on, and big takeoffs as well when it comes to getting you out of your personal bubble. And it all starts off with the Sun and Mercury in Pisces together through the ninth of the month. And this is your eighth house of shared resources, passive income, intimacy, self-employment earnings, and any kind of monies or responsibilities you may share with partners, collaborators, or business affiliates. And when we have the Sun and Mercury together here, we are seeing a big speed up with the rate with which you are accumulating wealth through all of these avenues. This is a time where what is considered supplemental or on the side or a bit of a bonus is going to be rising up, but you're also going to find that investments are starting to also mature very nicely for you. You may find that business partnerships are also thriving during this period, and maybe even some good news is gonna be coming to you about a partner or a romantic partner or spouse's income or their career as well, bringing in a lot of new comfort and wealth into the home and family. After the ninth, we've got Mercury and moving on into the sign of Aries and the sun joining him on the 18th. And for the rest of March and going on into April, these two are in your ninth house of expansion, growth, prominence, big moves, big travel opportunities, as well as official dealings, so government and legal matters, as well as your spiritual path and practice. And with Mercury and the Sun here, this is all about speeding up the growth or speeding up the maturation of plans that maybe have been long term, right? Moving things up on the itinerary, even things that you had maybe set for yourself or maybe for your family or, or, or goals or your work to do um, or have accomplished even, you know, end of this year going into next year are getting accelerated and moved forward. Mercury in the ninth house likes to speed up anything he can get his hands on. Give it a huge shot of caffeine. This is also a time where you may be wrapping up a lot of long-term agreements or contracts or projects to great success. And you're also going to find that with the sun here, your community itself, your sense of popularity in the world, um, your presence in the world is going through a big expansion, right? If there's anything that you're looking to promote or, or maybe get attention or support for, this is going to be the time. And you're also going to find that, yes, when it comes to things like big moves and big travel, uh, this is getting organized. If this is something that you really want to do, if this is something you're trying to really make happen, all of the pieces are coming together here at the back end of March and the beginning of April, and you may be able to speed up, again, the accomplishment of those goals as well. We've got Venus and Mars together in the sign of Aquarius through the 11th of the month. And again, this is your seventh house of partnerships. So your closest one-on-one -on -one connections and involvements. This is the boyfriend, girlfriend, BFF, business partner, husband, wife, roommate, all the people you have your closest one-on-one -on -one arrangements with. And with Venus here, things are becoming so much more tight, so much more crystallized. Uh, Venus always loves to bring in the love, right? The romance, the intimacy, the closeness, the affection, the generosity, but also at the same time, new love languages are going to be put on the table for you. This is a time where a lot of you Leo people are getting a chance to maybe indulge in a bit of fantasy fulfillment as well in romance. Now, this could be something that you're doing with a romantic partner, or this could be drawing in somebody new that is looking for that kind of commitment, that kind of relationship. 
Mars here is going to be helping to eliminate a lot of problems that have come up as it relates to relationship goals, business partnership goals, especially things that have kind of become a part of the scenery or things that we have been living with or tolerating or just kind of overcompensating for or coping with. This is a great time for knocking down obstacles, doing a lot of blockbusting, even when it comes to things that are getting in the way of having a successful romantic or business partnership, regardless of what your status is. However, with Mars, this can also bring up conflicts as well, because sometimes there does need to be a clash or a conflict to reveal where the problems really are. And so, you know, it's like the high highs and some, again, some very challenging uh, conflicts all at the same time going on when these two are here as a pair. But remember, Mars is only doing this because of his no tolerance for, again, the blocks, the obstacles, the hangups, and the, uh, the liabilities anyway. So so it is all for everybody's own good. After the 11th, we've got Venus moving on into Pisces, and then Mars will be joining her on the 21st. And this is that eighth house of shared resources, passive income, intimacy, self-employment earnings, shared monies, and all of that. And with Venus here, you're going to find that there is a, a big boost as well, because a lot of big money opportunities are getting attracted to you through very generous, almost gratuitous opportunities. Um, now, these could be things where you're noticing your bonuses, your incentive programs, your sales, commissions, and tips, and all of that are getting a lot bigger. Um, you may also find that there is, uh, you're kind of becoming a, a bit of a money magnet for any kind of monies that could be coming your way. This is also a great time for anybody looking to maybe bring a bit more tenderness into their romantic world. Venus in the eighth house is also indicating um, a great opportunity for a lot of you who are looking to attract maybe new uh, collaborative opportunities or, or shared or joint pursuit uh, opportunities to yourself when it comes to business or even just your social life for one-off projects and one-off uh, pursuits and one-off uh, adventures. Because again, this is all about joint victories this month for you. Mars in your eighth house is making things get very hot and very wild in your love life and in your intimate life. Mars in the eighth house is all about bringing in the carnal, everyone letting their hair down, becoming more vulnerable with each other, and getting a bit passionate and wild at that. But with Mars in the eighth house, we also have this added bonus of taking a hard crack at eliminating a lot of old financial challenges that have also followed us into the present. And that's also going to be something we're noticing well into April. We have a new moon in this part of your chart on the 10th of the month. And so between the 10th and the 24th, there may be some surprise opportunity for a new income stream in your life somewhere. Now, this could be something getting stacked onto something that you already have, or it's possibly something that is coming to you through a development with a romantic partner or a business partner, some kind of new uh, development with them that what's good for them is good for you, right? Joint victories, the theme of the month. And this is also a time where a lot of of you who've been maybe thinking about going into business for yourself or maybe monetizing something you've been working on uh, to give it a good shot and maybe uh, do a bit of a soft launch or see what you can do to carry things forward between the 10th and the 24th. And finally, we've got a full moon lunar eclipse in Libra on the 25th. And this is opening up a three-month window period for some very important takeoffs and transitions in your third house of communications, pacts, promises, commitments, collaborations, helpful third parties, and allies. With a full moon lunar eclipse in the third house, this is a time where between the end of March and the end of June, a lot of contracts and commitments in your life are going to be getting shredded, shattered, and eliminated beyond recall. And this is all about freeing you up from binding influences that might be 
controlling your movements, controlling your opportunities more than you think so. This could be releasing you from things that have been imposing limitations. This could also be a time where certain uh, connections in your network maybe get replaced with others. A lot of you are going to find that this could also be transforming a lot of third-party connections that you have, um, a lot of your allies in the world that you do kind of count on for hookups uh, or for connections or for networking purposes are going to be shuffling about. But this is an overhaul of this part of your chart to make it function all the better. However, with the full moon in the third house like this, especially lunar eclipse at that, this is also a great time for getting out of things that could be um, maybe holding you back in terms of what you are fulfilling or obligations or duties you have to others. And so a lot of you are getting off the hook for a lot over the course of this next three months. You're going to breathe a lot easier for it as well. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And again, don't forget to come back on a weekly basis for weekly astrology updates. And if you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. <laughs>